and you mentioned in your um, your journey of into the industry that physiotherapy was uh, a, an area of education that you, you undertook. Was that because you had an injury yourself, or were you know were there were there clients that you were, were you thinking at that time to potentially open up a clinic? Take us through the thought process for. Yeah, so my first exposure to physio was um, when I was probably 13 or so, I injured my wrist. Um, so I was doing a lot of break dancing, a lot of handstands. I got a sore wrist and I saw a physiotherapist. And um, my mum's a, a GP, so she's a doctor. Mm -hmm. and she, she recommended I see a physio and I was really impressed. You know, I thought he had a really thorough understanding of anatomy and physiology and um, and um in, and managing injuries mm -hmm. um, I thought that would be um, you know I thought that'd be a really fun career I didn't didn't really have any idea of what I wanted to do at that age and um, I also thought a, a bit of a selfish reason but I also thought that'd be really good knowledge to have um, with what I love to do with with break dancing and with calisthenics training what sort of cues do you use with with when you're giving feedback for some of these movements um, is it um, you know, is it more external cues? Is it uh, a feel thing? Uh, is it video analysis? Like a, what's your favorite way to give feedback when you're trying to uh, progress an athlete that you're working with? Yeah, as the goal of what I do tends to be performance. Um, I generally don't, don't like internal cues. Um, I think there's a time and a place for them. But um, when it comes to performance, I think there's a lot of evidence that external cues lead to better performance and also a lot of evidence that that can lead to better, better strength outcomes. Mm -hmm. And I've found that when people kind of dwell on, um, on internal cues, um, it might work really well for one person, but I don't think it's really generalizable. And I think part of the reason for that is everybody understands things in a slightly different way. Everyone feels things in a slightly different way. And you can't mm -hmm. say you should be feeling this working in a, you know, in your, in your deadlift, you should be feeling your posterior chain activating. And I would say in your deadlift, if you're picking the weight up and standing up and fulfilling the requirements of a deadlift, it doesn't matter if you feel things activating or not. For the, from the business owners and, and coaches out there, do you use Excel? Is it Google Sheets or is there an app that you use? Take us through the programming side of things. Yeah. So the, when I put a template or a general program out into the world, that's generally app-based. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm coaching somebody one-on-one, -on -one, uh, I generally will, will uh, send them a, a questionnaire and do a Zoom consult, get a history, um, preferences, goals, those sorts of things. Yep. And um, yeah, then I generally program, write up a program um, with their input um, on Excel or Google Sheets and make amendments to that over the next, you know, over a training block. Which movie or TV series has uh, impacted you the most and why? We can throw books in there as well. Books. Okay. Yeah. I can, I can tell you, um, books. I would say the book, when it comes to books, free will by, um, Sam Harris was probably my favorite book. Yep. Um, I don't know if you've read that, but that can be a little no. bit, that can, uh, cause a little bit of distress for some people, but I found it really valuable and I think it's got really um, useful moral implications. Okay. Um, another book of his is the moral landscape. That's really good, uh, for movies uh none come to mind but you know i like tarantino movies i like fight club the when you when you mentioned that question the first thing that came to mind with tv shows the one that's impacted me the most would be um game of thrones because i thought the ending was terrible and i was just so gutted that <laughs> i'd made such a huge investment watching this show for so long and it felt so let down at the end 